All right, we're down here at the uh, beach again, a different section of the beach, and what you have going on here is along the Chesapeake, you sometimes have uh, parts of the bay or backwaters that get uh, naturally cut off. There's a big discussion about the Grand Canyon regarding whether it's a result of a natural dam breach. Uh, I wanted to just show you about a week ago, I, uh, this was dammed up again and uh, it's now been dammed up by the onshore water uh, or waves again. What you got going on here is the water is slowly building up and this would possibly represent the Kayabab uplift that is talked about. You can see that uh, there's already been a, a breach of one dam. Like I said, that's what I did last week and it turned into from a, like a one inch little break into this 15 foot wide canyon and it carried all of this sand and silt that you see. All of this out here is from that breach. Okay, it was just washed right away in about, well, it was going from one inch to about 10 feet wide in about, oh, maybe 20 minutes. So anyway, uh, nature did what it wanted to and it uh, has dammed it up again. Once this water builds up a little bit more, I was going to probably breach it again just to catch it on film for YouTube this time. But in the meantime, what's happening is, What's happening is you've got uh, water leaking through the base of the dam. It might be a little hard to see, but you can, start, you can see it. It's leaking through the base of the dam. So what I'm going to show you is <clears throat> that uh, these natural dams are not necessarily sturdy like uh, the ones that man makes. Okay, I'm just going to step into the soft sand right here, right in front of you, and let you see how quickly it fills up with water. So there's my foot, grinding it down in there, and you see that that's water and it's actually flowing. It will soon here fill up my footprint and it'll start a new little rivulet that uh, is draining this small inlet that's been cut off from the Chesapeake Bay. So all of that makes this base very unstable. It wouldn't take a whole lot to breach it. And uh, once this fills up a little bit more, I'll go ahead and do that experiment and put it on YouTube so you can see the Kaibab uplift. You can see water apparently flow uphill when in fact it was just a breach of a natural dam and it slashed right through the uh, um, natural dam forming Grand Canyon as the water made its way to the sea. Now this is a smaller scale obviously, this is just a small inlet, it's not Grand Lake, and uh, this is not the ocean per se, this is the Chesapeake. So I'll put that up when I get a chance to show you that experiment.